everyone, let's take a look at number nine and see if we can figure this one out. So it says a boat costs 15500 and decreases in value by 10% per year. How much will the boat be worth after five years? So when I hear this phrase, 10% per year, right? Because it's going by a percentage and not a fixed amount, it's not saying it's losing $500 every year. It's saying it's losing 10% of its value. And you hear me saying the word of, that implies multiplication. So when you have something like that, you have exponential, in this case, decay. So we need to figure out the, the correct exponential model for this. So let's start to, to play this out. So it's decreasing. All right, so if I hear this phrase that I am decreasing by 10%, all right, I need to subtract that number from my base of 100%. Or you can think of it as you want to subtract the decimal 0.10 from 1. So what I'm trying to imply here or trying to say here is that my base, all right, if I think about equilibrium is at 100%, so I'm neither gaining nor losing. But I, in this case, I actually am, they said you're decreasing by 10% a year. So your base is actually, excuse me, I was going to make that a decimal. Your base is actually going to be 90%. And I'm going to write that as the decimal 0 0.90. All right. So that's how you can determine your base. Now, just on the flip of it, just for, just for fun, if this had said I was increasing by 10%, and admittedly it doesn't, then I would have just done the opposite. I would have done 100% plus 10%. And then my base would have been 110%, or as a decimal, 1.1. And anytime the base of your exponential function is larger than 1, you're talking about exponential growth. And in our case, the base of our function is less than 1, and we're talking about exponential decay. And when your base is equal to 1, it's neither growth nor decay. You're just staying static, which is fine. It's just something you want to recognize. All right, so let me get rid of this because this is not the actual problem here. All right, so there we've got our base. And then they told me that my initial cost, or the initial price to this, this thing, was 15500 So if I think about an exponential model, A times B to the T, well, I know my A value is going to be 15500 my base is 0.9, and I'm going to go to the t, right? That's, that's my exponential model. Now, I like to do things like C of t for cost. I like to make my letters match. It's just a personal thing of mine. Okay, so here we go. This is how much will this be worth after five years? You can see that's a time value. So let's find C of 5. This would be 15,500 times 0.9 to the fifth. And I'm going to definitely head to my calculator for that one. So let me get out of this. So this would be 15,000, excuse me, 500 times 0.9 to the fifth, when I enter that in, it looks like it's about $9,152.60. So let me write that down. So this we said was $9,152, and I think I said in 60 cents. All right, so let's see. Oh, it looks like they've rounded these. So I'm actually gonna round this to 9,153, and then A is gonna be my answer. All right, thanks so much, everyone.